Alrighty, let's take a listen to that old ticker of yours. Run! So, I am really super excited because in only a few days, I am leaving for the Philippines. This is going to be the farthest I've ever traveled before, which is kind of nerve-wracking. The reason I'm traveling to the Philippines, though, is a very good reason. I'm going to be going on a medical mission trip with my church. It's going to be to the capital called Manila, and uh, Manila is a very interesting city. From what I've been told, it really doesn't have any middle class. So you have the poorest of the poor living right across the street from the richest people ever. It's going to be very strange us uh, basically staying in a four-star hotel and then during the day going to be setting up little clinics where we triage patients. One of the things I'm pretty apprehensive of is that this isn't going to have to do with OR nursing, which is what I've been doing for the last year and a half. Actually, this is the first time I've worn a stethoscope since quitting my old job and going into the OR. Unless you're a CRNA or a certified nurse anesthetist, you don't really listen to people's heart and lungs. And now I'm going on a mission trip where that's going to be my primary task, is listening to heart and lungs and taking vital signs. It's just not part of my job description. So although I have the equipment, I am kind of rusty. One of the th first things I learned in nursing school was the order in which a nurse will begin her assessment of a patient. First of all is inspection. When we meet a patient, one of the first things we're doing is looking at you. Our next task is to do what we call palpation, which is basically touching. And the final part of our assessment is what we call auscultation. Auscultation is when we actually use our stethoscope and we listen to your heart and lungs. With auscultation, there is so much to learn and it's all about training your ear to hear things in a different way and to be able to identify things that are out of the ordinary. And some of these things are so slight and takes a really well-trained ear to hear. I remember even on the NCLEX, one of my questions was an audio file and listening to it and saying, what kind of breath sound is this? And when it comes to our heart, it's vitally important to find murmurs or anything that is a extra sound to sort of characterize if there's any leaks or problems with your valves closing and sort of nurses are the front line in this of identifying this so that the doctor is aware that this could possibly be a potential problem for this patient that they might have some sort of serious heart defect so yeah i'm really kind of nervous about this philippines trip because i'm going to be paired with a doctor and i'm going to have to sort of show my skills to him and uh, I hope I don't disappoint. But like all things on this vlog, I learn through metaphor. So I'm finding that I have to retrain myself on my own personal heart auscultation. You know, over time, this life just sort of hardens you to things. And I don't know, like you just sort of become apathetic. You forget what your true passion was in the very beginning. I think it's so important to evaluate yourself and to sit down and analyze where your heart has been really heavy and burdened and where your heart has been really hardened by this world and the areas where you feel a burden or you actually get angry about the situation it motivates you to stand up and make a change in this world but also to change yourself like if you see something in your life that you feel is wrong and a bad habit that you would say, wow, this is really affecting my heart. And to give that up to God, what are my fears? What are my concerns? What are the things that are weighing me down that I need to just let go of? That have been keeping me trapped in a place where I'm not going to grow and become a better person. Our heart is so vital to who we are as people and keeping us going and sort of what makes your blood boil? What makes your blood pump throughout your body? That is like your passion and your purpose in life. And if your heart's sort of gotten sluggish over the years, then that's not really much of a life either. Where can you let God in to change you from the inside out? This is actually going to be my first medical mission trip and I'm so excited about it because this is sort of a living of a dream. When I first had the idea of even being a nurse, 
I wanted to go on a medical mission. That was like my main desire was someday I'm going to have the nursing skills to go on a trip and help people in a medical way. My dream is to travel the world and take care of people medically. So anyway, I'm going to be in the Philippines for three weeks. I can't even believe it. It's gonna be so fantastic. I'm so super nervous, but I know it's gonna be really great. And because I'm gonna be gone out of the country, uh, I'm not really going to be having the access to the internet that I'm used to. And so this vlog is gonna take a short uh, vacay. But I'll definitely see you guys when I come back. Bye!